6.30. I was up a couple of times last night. I slept pretty good. I'm just going to make some coffee. So this spot, the ground, looks like there was an old creek that ran through back here or some kind of a runoff from the elevation, I guess, maybe in the winter and stuff. But everything back here is almost marshy. Like everything's moist like all day long. Like I said yesterday, it doesn't get a lot of sun over here. You get a little bit in the morning. So I don't know how much that we got because the battery died. I've been having no luck with cameras lately. It's like every trip. My big main camera I dropped in the water on our last trip with Sabrina, fully submerged. Screwed up the microphone, the internal microphone. Hey! Go on, get out. <clears throat> well, I don't know what that was. I think mean, maybe a big buck or a moose or something. I've never heard that noise before. Anyways, as I was saying, before we were so rudely interrupted, before my sock catches on fire. I've dropped that big camera in the water three times. My GoPros, I dropped the GoPro in yesterday. I slipped off the rock, went underneath the canoe <clears throat> as I was trying to put it in the waterproof case. So yesterday, the gentleman that I ran into kept searching over here, saying there was an abandoned trail, but he could never find it. 
Yesterday I went for a walk for wood. I found what looks like an old abandoned snowmobile trail that comes down to here and then just ends. So I walked for about 20 minutes. It starts kind of going out that way. The lake's over there. So I'm guessing it would meet up with the new snowmobile trail. So I'm going to do some exploring on that trail, see where it goes using the eye hunter to track myself. And then wherever it starts to cut away from the lake, I'm going to blaze a trail down to the lake. Anyways, I'm going to make another coffee. I'm going to take my time this morning. It's still, it's eight o'clock. I'll probably get going around nine. Let my boots try to dry out a bit. Or my boot. I kind of did the splits into the water. So last night between this and that sleeping pad, it was actually pretty warm. My sleeping bag's rated for minus 10. Actually a nice little sleep. The hammock, it's an okay hammock. The Oak Creek, I believe. $89.99, cheap little hammock. It's not bad. It's not something that I think I would take on a super long extended trip. I definitely won't be winter camping with it. I, it's, uh, I think I want to get one that's got the spreader bars and the loops for the net. I have to look at a sleep. I've been looking at sleep systems. They're pretty expensive. Anyways, I'm going to make another coffee, do some stretching, and get this day on the go. See you guys in a little bit. And these guys who are about to pull up in the boat have been firing a gun off for the last 10 minutes. So let's see what this is all about. What you boys hunting for? What? What you guys hunting for? Oh, dang it. Trespassers. <laughs> yeah. Hard trespass on Crown Land. <laughs> dang it, cormorants. Yeah? Oh. Yep. Season opened yesterday. Yes, so. it did. The 15th. Yep. Hey. I thought they were all gone, but there were four in that fucking tree. There were I, when I paddled in yesterday, there was five of them sitting on that rock yeah. right over there. Yeah. About ten years ago, there was one. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. Hey, this trail that's here, is that an old abandoned snowmobile trail? Do you guys know? Yeah. That's what it is. It's an old abandoned snowmobile trail, eh? Because I was here, I guess about a month ago, camping out with the wife. Ran into a gentleman and his wife, an older couple. I guess they have a cottage or something over here. He said yeah. for the last three years, him and his wife have been trying to find an abandoned trail to get into Bear Lake. That's, yeah, but he kept going up over there. He said he could never find the trail. So I told him I'd hunt for it for him. Yeah. And I was out looking for firewood and stumbled onto that one. Yeah. So I'm wondering if that's the one he's talking about. No, so no. I, the one's right there. There is another trail over oh, there? Yeah. 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 Yeah, is, it, is it grown over or? It could be. It. Back in the day, it was pretty skinny, narrow, and up the ridge and down in the valley and up in the ridge. Yeah, he said it was a pretty rough one. Yeah, yeah I told him I tried to fly. He, like I said, he was older. He's in his late sixties, early seventies. So I told him I tried to. Easy. Wow. Well, hey, I'm I'm, I'm fifty three, so I'm almost there. So. <laughs> But yeah, I told him I'd come back before the winter and I tried to blaze a nice trail for him and his wife on this side. That's because the elevation one, yeah. ain't too bad. That's, so. That should be open, this trail over here with the amount of traffic that I've seen down here. Yeah. Just right, right at the, 
You know where the creek comes out? Right over there. Left of the creek on top of that knoll. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he said him and his wife were in there for about half an hour and he came back and then we were talking and he said it was just too much for them. Yeah. So that's so I told him I tried to blaze one on this side for him and then I stumbled onto that. So you never get one on this side. No? Oh yeah. Well, there's a, yeah, there's it's a little bit. Yeah. You can hit the top of the bridge if you want to hit it, but then you're into the handle of the ship. Night, you know, last night. Oh God, was it ever? Was it ever? And I think like, there's either a big ass buck or a moose that ran in here this morning, like just right off of me. Oh yeah. Yeah, I got the noises on camera. I've never heard that noise before, so I don't know what the hell it was, man. There, there's noise bears like, kicking around here too. Dude. Yeah, yeah, that's I. I've never see. That's the thing. The only thing I ever heard from a bear was a growl. This is like a big huff and then a couple of wheezes and. That could be a buck. Yeah. Yeah. Well, have a good one. All right, you too, eh? So, I don't know how much that picked up, so I'm just going to start over. That is an abandoned snowmobile trail over there. My SD card is full. I don't have a pin to get it out of there either. So that is an abandoned snowmobile trail that I fell upon. It does go out to the existing snowmobile trails. Half my job is done because that goes about halfway towards the lake before it branches the other way. There is a small little trail over there. Maybe we'll go visit that later on. I don't know how long these guys are going to be in the bush hunting. Um, they've got a couple of rifles with them. I don't have any orange. I'm not going to go wandering through the bush, so blazing that trail is out of the question until they're gone. So I guess for now, it's uh, we'll do some fishing. I'll make that second coffee that I was wanting to have. I guess in this case, it's safety first, right? Usually it's third. Coffee's always first. But yeah, with the luck I've been having this year on my trips, I'd walk out to the bush for 10 minutes and for sure I'd get plugged. <laughs> this year, I don't know, man, my trips this year have just been, yeah. Anyways, we'll see if we can catch another fish like I did yesterday. Go check out that other trail on the other side of the lake. Let these gentlemen hunt. Ugh. Okay, folks, see you in a bit. Well, it's about 12 o'clock. These boys are going to be in here hunting all day. <clears throat> I don't have Hunter Orange. I just don't want to take the chance. So I'll probably just hang around camp, maybe do a little fishing. But I think this is going to be it for the video, guys. I don't want to waste your time. Um, that was a big buck. This morning I went in I found some prints when I went to get the tinder and the kindling just now um, there's sign there's fresh scat and there's one or two big scrapes um, I wish I got it on camera I don't know how close he got but that was loud so he must have been within 20 yards so that was huge that was loud so yeah, I'm just uh, going to get a little fire going. It is a little cool here, a little damp. And then I'm uh, just going to hang out here. Maybe for the rest of the day. So yeah, I'm gonna hang out, relax. Won't be anything exciting. So I don't want to, like I said, I don't want to waste your time. As much as I would love the watch time hours, <laughs> yeah, big old buck. Now, this is where I came and scoped out for hunting. Found a couple back that way, actually a little bit more. I didn't really go this way. Um, 
so I hope that I haven't ruined anything treading through here. And again, we still got about just under a month before the big game kicks in. Thanks for hanging out. I want to take a second to acknowledge and thank my sponsors. Agua, love you guys. I Hunter, over the last couple of years, I couldn't have done a lot of the stuff. Aside from hunting, I couldn't have done a lot of the stuff that I've done without you guys. Um, your app is phenomenal. Ladies and gentlemen, check it out. I got a link down below. Get 15% off if you're in Ontario for your Ontario public land subscription. Bolton Physiotherapy. <laughs> Auntie Lynn. I, uh, I wouldn't be out here if it wasn't for you guys at all. Naked Canine Nutrition. Guys, if you've got a pet, check out the link below. These guys are phenomenal. All raw, fresh food. If you're not in the delivery zone, uh, give them a call. Talk to Sean. Um, maybe he can set something up for you. So that's about it. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. Um, maybe I'll come back here during the week. There's supposed to be rain for a couple of days, Monday, Tuesday. Maybe I'll come back here during the week or maybe next weekend and do this trail. It's unfortunate. But as I said, like I said, these guys are coming back tomorrow. They said earlier, they're going to be out here most of the day. I don't have any Hunter Orange with me. I just don't want to take the chance. The way my trips have been going this year, <laughs> you know what my luck's been like if you've been watching my videos. So yeah, spend the night and just relax. Ladies and gentlemen, until the next one, thank you very much for watching. And remember... Get outside at least once a day. Get outside. <laughs>